what's going on guys have to address this uh, past week or so a few former jets coming out in the media and attacking our guy zach wilson latest is john abraham who was probably one of my favorite players coming up in the curtis martin uh, john abraham era first jets jersey i ever got i remember um my mom got me and my sister jets jerseys my twin sister got Curtis Martin. I got John Abraham. We were so excited. It's like the best Christmas gift ever. Like one of those, uh, like the legit ones with the raised stitching and everything. And uh, of course, mom had to get it like five sizes too big because she's like, it's super expensive. You have to grow into it. So was so excited repping that John Abraham jersey hanging off me um, on the first day of school in like third grade or whatever it was. Now, Zach Wilson, people are saying you got to move off him. You don't want to put too much into a sunk cost. And I, I just don't get this. I don't get why from the jump, it just seemed like the media in general decided that Zach Wilson was going to be a bust and that everything he did and said was wrong. Out of all the quarterbacks in this draft class, because no one's saying that the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have the number one overall pick, should move on from Trevor Lawrence. No one's saying that. Trevor Lawrence was worse than Zach Wilson last year. Zach Wilson beat him head-to-head. -head. Trevor Lawrence threw more interceptions. Won less games. And then when you bring up Trevor Lawrence to people, they say, oh, well, the coaching and the weapons and the O-line. You, you could say the same exact thing for Zach Wilson, but for some reason, those reasons don't hold up. Justin Fields looked completely overwhelmed. How Zach Wilson looked before the injury when he looked awful Justin Fields looked like that anytime he was on the field the whole year. And I like Justin Fields. I like Trevor Lawrence. I wouldn't give up on either of those guys either. And then we say, okay, Trey Lance didn't even play. Now there's reports out Niners may hang on to Jimmy Garoppolo because he's quote unquote still maybe a ways away. So, all right, of the four top quarterbacks taken last year, they're all busts, I guess. And it was supposed to be a stacked class. No, Zach Wilson is just a bust because that makes sense. I, I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. And, okay, say they wanted to move on from Zach Wilson this year. Who are you taking? They say, oh, the Cardinals did it with Josh Rosen. They took Kyler Murray. Okay, one, Josh Rosen was objectively putrid. And you saw no traits to build on. And he looked like he didn't even want to play football. He was awful. Zach Wilson did not look nearly as bad. As Josh Rosen, Zach Wilson at least gave you some traits to be excited about. Arm talent, athleticism. Josh Rosen, no. And Kyler Murray was an elite prospect. Who's Kyler Murray this year coming out? There isn't one. And if there was, the Detroit Lions would be taking him at two, so he wouldn't even be there at four. So what are we talking about? What is your actual plan? When you move on from Zach Wilson, what is your actual plan? What are you going to do? You're going to sign Teddy Bridgewater? That's your upgrade for Zach Wilson? Like, what do you? What is your actual plan? What are you saying? It just seems like people are hating just to hate. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. And I have higher expectations from Zach Wilson. I'm disappointed with how he performed as a rookie. But it makes no sense to move off him right now. What does make sense is to put a team around him so that you can properly evaluate him. And then if he still doesn't perform, then next year we can have this conversation. We got to do that first. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this. I think it's crazy to, to consider moving on from Zach Wilson at this point. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, go Jets.